Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our spark timing in our ECM Link software. So when we're doing our tuning process, we need to dial our fuel in, but our spark timing is going to be another important aspect of the tuning. Too low a spark timing, we're not gonna get good power. Too much spark timing, we're gonna damage the engine with knock. So we need to find the sweet spot for the spark timing so that we don't have knock, we make good power, and everything's gonna be dialed in properly. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the basics of the spark timing, how it works, how the tables are gonna configure it, how the knock control is gonna be working, and how we can utilize the knock control from data logs to be able to guide us in tuning our spark timing. So that's a relatively simple process once you see all the details. We're gonna go over all that in the video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our spark timing in our ECM Link software. We're gonna find we have two different ways we can actually edit and work with our spark timing in our direct access portion of our calibration file. We'll find this is where it houses the three-dimensional table that we're gonna be doing all of our actual spark timing calculations from. We also have in our live settings here, where we actually can do our real-time changes in, we have our timing adjustments table. This is gonna provide us a scaling factor based on engine RPM. So we can either add or subtract timing uh, very quickly if we're trying to sort out our spark timing and not have to go here to the direct access and actually do a flash. So this is going to be live editable. This is going to be requiring us to kill off the vehicle, key back on, flash, start the vehicle back up and continue with the tuning process. So this is gonna be a little more time consuming, but this is gonna be where we actually wanna work with our spark timing and do our editing changes. Um, I'll talk about this here in just a little bit. We'll come back to this. So in our direct access portion here, we have two different spark timing tables. We have our timing min table and our timing max table. We'll talk about what these represent here in a little bit and why there's gonna be two tables, but let's talk about the table itself and what we can expect to work with this. Now looking in the table, we'll find we have our load axis here on the left and then on the top, it's gonna be your engine RPM. So the table looks like a traditional spark timing table if you're used to working with a standalone system or other OEM ECUs. Now the difference here, the biggest difference, is going to be the values here in our load axis. So this is gonna be something called load factor. Load factor is gonna be taking a look at our air mass per engine revolution divided by the engine displacement. So essentially, as boost goes up or if we're going into vacuum portion of operation, we're gonna be moving up and down here in our load factor. So essentially, vacuum portion of operation is going to be here from 0.3 to about 0.8. And then getting into boost here is gonna be from 0.9 and higher. So that's kind of how we can slice up the table. And in fact, taking a look at this, if we're looking at our idle area of operation, that's typically going to be here about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 in our load factor. So we'll be in this area right here for our idle RPM. And then cruising will be here from 1500 RPM all the way up in, in the RPM. And then we'll find from about 0.7 and below. So this will represent our vacuum portion of operation. We're getting up to about zero PSI, so uh, the equivalent of atmospheric pressure, anywhere here between 0.8 and 0.9, so kind of looking at this. And then we'll find uh, above this, above this threshold right here, uh, so 1.0, 0.9, this is gonna represent it getting into boost. So we can see as we ascend in load, so as the load factor goes up, we'll be reducing our spark timing. The spark timing values start to drop, and that's going to be firing off the spark plug later and later into our compression stroke. So it's gonna be reducing the cylinder pressure. It's going to help. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.